Hello everyone, welcome to another Daily Gym. Today is Thursday, May 16th, 2024. I'm doing this before midnight, yay! I want to talk about how we are often maybe 5% of the troubles that somebody else is experiencing. So, uh, to get more into it, I uh, reached out to a friend I haven't talked to in a, a little while. We hung out and then haven't heard back from her. And I was like, what happened? Uh, we just hung out, went out dancing or whatnot, but I haven't heard back. And I was like, huh, I'm so confused. And I think it's so easy for me to go, aha, what did I do? I must have done something or I didn't do something. Somehow this person is not talking to me because it's my fault. And, it, and not just it's my fault, it's all my fault. Every, the whole reason this person is not talking to me is because of something that I did. But how often is that the case? I don't know if that's ever the case. Maybe it's not 5%, maybe it's 10%, 20%, 30 40 50 maybe 60 70% of the reason why somebody is not doing something is because of what I've done. But it's never 100%. Is it never? I mean, I don't know if it's ever 100%. Maybe we'll say 99.9% <laughs> chance that it's never 100%. Um, and I wonder how life would look if we realized that. There's some famous quote, I'm obviously going to butcher it, but something about we don't know the battles that other people are fighting on the inside. What if we thought about the battles that other people were fighting on the inside? What if we thought about the battles that we're fighting outside of this one specific scenario? What if we realize that maybe we're grouchy today, not because of the way the person looked at us. Maybe that's only 5% of it. Maybe another 50% comes from the fact that we didn't sleep well. Maybe another uh, 30% comes from the fact that we um, have a deadline that we're late for. And what, that's 85%. Maybe another 15% comes from uh, just our, you know, something that we read on Twitter or something that has to do with kind of the larger scope of uh, politics and economy and such. So what if we started paying attention to the multitudes of conflicts that people are having? This idea that we have one conflict in our life and this conflict is causing all of the pain and the anger and the anguish and the fear and the uncertainty, I just think is not very accurate. I just don't think it's very accurate that the that our life is run by one particular event and not by others. I think we are a complex amalgamation of conflicts. <laughs> I want to record this episode before I go out because I would like to record it while I'm sober, not after I've had a few drinks. And also while um, it's, you know, <laughs> And who knows, I'm going to go dancing. I don't know how long I'll be out dancing. Um, but I also just wanted to go because my friend's waiting on me. But I was also worried that the rain was going to start and it was going to get loud and you wouldn't be able to hear the voice note. Voice note, it's a podcast, both thing. <laughs> um, and so that's just the internal conflict going on in, in me right now. That is avoiding all the other conflicts that have happened. You know, that, you know, there's so much else going on inside of my own uh, mind or heart or body or whatever you want to call it. And that's not even talking about the conflicts that are going on inside other people or be, uh, amongst people. So what would life look like if we just recognize that we're in this constant state of conflict and it's okay? It's actually okay. Conflict is okay. It's not quote unquote bad. Conflict is two people, two things wanting different things or feeling different things or having different things. Difference is okay. How do we interact with the difference and realize that we also have a lot of similarity? I don't know. This is a little bit of rambling as most of these episodes are, but there's something that has me feeling quite rejuvenated. Just this idea that maybe when I reach out to people, instead of assuming that I'm 100% of the problem of why they're not communicating with me or 100% of the reason that the thing fell apart, maybe, only maybe, I'm 5, 10, 15, 20% of it, or at least my behaviors are. And what if I started to communicate to them and to myself 
how they might be going through other stuff and to recognize that maybe it's not all about what I did. Now, this is not to say that my behaviors didn't contribute anything. I also don't think it's ever uh, 0%. <laughs> maybe sometimes it's 0%, but maybe it's, I think it's often like 1%, 2%, 3%, um, at least. And so just to not to give myself all of the blame or all of the fault, and, not, and also not to give my, like the behaviors none of the blame or none of the fault, um, but just to recognize that life is really complex. There are so many moving parts. And I think if we realize that, then we might have a lot more compassion for ourselves and for other people and other beings. On that note, I'm going to go dance. I'll talk to you all on Monday. I hope you uh, spend the weekend however you would like to spend the weekend. Take care. Thank <laughs> you.